I would like to clarify specifications. Most speaker companies will give you things like it goes from 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, plus or minus 3 dB. It handles 200 watts. It weighs this much. Its dimensions are this much. That is one form of data, but that data doesn't tell you anything about how that speaker actually performs. We use what's called a CTA 2034 or a spinorama, which we show for each one of our products on the website, which is a test. We have, it's done with a machine called a Clipple machine, which we happen to own one. It's quite an elaborate machine. It takes like 13,000 measurements of the speaker in an automated fashion, all the way around, horizontally, vertically, and then it gives you a signature of what that speaker is doing in space. And so if another speaker, let's say you're comparing per listen to another speaker, if that other speaker had the clipple data, we would see they clearly look different. And then we would be able to say, oh, that's why this one sounds that way, because look at what it's doing from the lows to the highs. So if a speaker has clipple information, and if their clipple information would look identical to ours, there's a good chance that they might sound quite familiar. Uh, they might sound close, but distortion is a big part as well, where distortion will make um, the sound sound different. Our distortion is very, very low. So data is a funny thing. Most, most speaker manufacturers don't give the true data to let you know how a speaker sounds. And this is something that's interesting in the, that hi-fi people, I believe, need to learn more about. They need to learn about the spinorama. What is it? Why is it useful? Why should I care? What does it tell me about what the speaker's doing? So per listen, we try to do a lot to educate people uh, that were science and engineering. And we, we, we design something, we measure it. What did it do? Do we not like it? We change it in the, in, in the crossover, we change the driver, we measure it again. Do we like it? Don't we like it? And then we know exactly what it's going to do.